Welcome to SUSAV, the solid waste company of Southwest Scania in the south of Sweden. Our area of responsibility is the treatment and recycling of domestic and industrial waste within southern Scania. Ever since its start in 1974, SUSAV's motto has been the maximum possible recycling, the minimum possible landfilling. SUSAV is owned by 14 local authorities in southern Scania. The local authorities have the responsibility for collecting the domestic waste and transporting it to SUSAV's waste facilities. The collection of industrial waste is handled by contractors. SUSAV's main area of activity is at Sjölunda and the Spillepeng area in Malmö, but we also treat waste in Sankt Olof, Ystad, Lund and Trelleborg. Together with our subsidiaries and interest companies, we handle approximately 900,000 tonnes of waste per year. More than 95% of this is recovered as materials and energy. At SUSAV, a variety of methods are used to treat the waste in order to deal with every kind of waste in the best way possible. Combustible waste is converted into energy, garden waste becomes compost and different materials are sorted in order to be recycled and converted into new raw materials. For more than 30 years, combustible waste from households and industry has been processed in the old waste to energy plant, which delivers heat to the district heating network. During the beginning of the 21st century, the waste to energy plant was extended with two further boilers in order to handle up to 600,000 tonnes of waste per year. In these boilers, both district heating and electricity are produced. From 2009, SUSAV is responsible for 60% of the district heating in Malmö and Burlöv and produces sufficient electricity to keep 600,000 60 watt light bulbs burning. In the four boilers, a total of 75 tonnes of waste can be incinerated every hour, 24 hours a day, all year round. The combustible waste is fed into the furnace. Here, the temperature is approximately 1,000 degrees Celsius. Health care waste can also be incinerated. Using a special system that we call SUSAV Protector, we make sure that no one comes in direct contact with this waste. Using the most up-to-date technology, various pollutants are extracted step by step before the gases leave the stack. The flue gases are continually monitored and the results show that we lie well within the permitted limits. After incineration, the remaining material is safely taken care of. The slag, consisting of non-combustible material, is taken to a special bottom ash recycling plant. Metals such as iron, aluminium and copper are sorted and recycled. The remaining material, the bottom ash, consists of sand, stone, gravel, glass and porcelain. CSAF has four waste facilities where the handling of different types of waste takes place. Two of the facilities are also used for landfilling. Spillepeng in Malmö is the largest landfill site in the region. The new parts of the site have been created by building a protective embankment and reclaiming an area of the Öresund. At a waste facility, the waste is sorted and either recycled, composted or landfilled. The goal is to recycle as much as possible. We therefore handle different types of waste in different ways. Less than 5% of the waste that arrives at SUSAV and SUSAV's interest companies is actually landfilled. Here, the bulky waste is sorted with the help of a specially equipped excavator. In the first place, it is scrap metal that is sorted, but there are other materials too, for example plaster, tyres and wood. Due to sorting at source, more waste can be utilised in the form of materials and energy. Waste from both gardens and parks is processed in large heaps. After a period of three years, we are left with a very nutrient compost. This is then blended and packed in sacks and sold at our recycling centres. Soil which has been contaminated by oil or chemicals can also be treated at our landfill site. The soil is purified with the help of microorganisms. As the landfill sites are successively filled in and the depositing of waste ceases, the area is returned to normal again. Here, a recreation area has been created from an old part of the Spillepeng landfill site. 
CSAF's challenge is to deal with the waste we receive in the best way possible and use it as a resource. To a great extent, our success is due to how well the waste is sorted. It is, of course, the joint responsibility for the whole of society to keep the amounts of waste to a minimum. But for many years now, it has been increasing. Increased recycling is an important goal for SUSAV. Increasing amounts of waste can clearly be seen at our recycling centers, where each year we receive more visitors and more waste. However, we make sure that as much as possible is recycled. Here are also environmental stations where hazardous household waste can be deposited, for example, leftover paint, solvents and batteries. Environmental stations are also located at many of the service stations. The removal of environmentally harmful materials from waste is important. SUSAV has one of Sweden's most modern plants for managing and transitionally storing different types of hazardous waste. The Lutz environmental system is much appreciated by our customers. Safely and simply, various types of hazardous waste products are sorted into special containers. Here, the containers are emptied and washed. The waste is stored and then further dispatched for destruction or recycling. Television sets, computers and electrical household equipment can contain components that are harmful to the environment. Discarded apparatus and white goods which have been deposited at one of our recycling centres are sorted and dismantled at KS Recycling. Hazardous parts are removed and subsequently dealt with. Metals and plastic are recycled. Some materials become fuel to be used for the production of energy. Through the subsidiary SUSAV development, we are engaged in various research and development projects. The handling of waste is developing all the time. A special subsidiary, SUSAV Biotech, has been formed in order to handle food waste. The food waste, which comes from households and businesses, is treated in a pre-treatment plant for food waste. Householders sort their food waste in paper bags. The bags and their contents are crushed in the pre-treatment plant and the materials are then separated using a press. The dry parts are used as fuel in the waste to energy plant and thick viscous slurry is further processed in a biogas plant. The plant can also receive and process liquid food waste in paper and plastic packaging stacked on pallets, as well as food waste pumped from waste disposal units. In the biogas plant, methane-rich biogas is produced, which can, for example, be used as vehicle fuel. A liquid biofertilizer full of essential nutrient is also produced to be spread onto the fields. Much of the waste SUSAV receives comes from companies and other business activities. We have several total services, for example, SUSAV Total, making it easy for our customers to receive a practical, environmentally friendly and cost-effective waste handling system. Should any questions arise concerning the management of waste, our customer service department is open every weekday. Here, every endeavour is made to give our customers the best possible service. Together with our subsidiaries and interest companies Kretzlopsparken, Südautowinning, Ogab, Puls and KS Recycling, we're able to offer a complete waste handling system. Over the years, we have developed a great level of competence at CSAV and we're continually striving to develop and improve. The basis of our entire operations is to take care of our resources and contribute towards a better environment. <laughs>